And I'm joined today by my colleague, Janice, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Janice Duenas McKnight, um, and I'm also uh, with Temple Center for American Language and Culture. Thanks for learning with us today. We are going to expect a lot of interaction from you, so I hope that you're ready to practice your English and learn some, some new skills, we hope. All right, excellent. Thank you, Janice. So thank you guys again for joining us. I know it's late evening, afternoon. Maybe some of you came from school or from class. So we appreciate you guys coming back on Zoom to have a little bit of fun and learn with us today. So what we're going to go over is an example of our presentations and pronunciation course. So the goal for our trial lesson, uh, we're going to get to some introductions. We're going to talk about our lesson goals. We're gonna get into effective presentation styles and then we're gonna talk and hopefully all of you will have an opportunity to practice sharing your elevator speech. There's a lot of us here. So I want you all to think about creating it and think about sharing it. We might not all get to share today, okay? So again, my name is Shannon um, and I want everyone to grab the chat and open up your chat to share with us, but I'd like to know your name where you're fun from, excuse me, and a fun fact about yourself. So I'll go first and share my example. So again, my name is Shannon. I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And a fun fact about myself is that I love to go hiking in all of the amazing national parks in the US. So if you guys would like to open up the chat and share a little bit about yourself in the chat so we can hear from you. So your name, where you're from and a fun fact. All right, I'm not seeing anything in the chat yet. And I wanna make sure we hear from a couple of us today. Does anyone have the confidence and the excitement to introduce themselves live and turn on your audio. We can maybe hear from someone. Oh, I see Chelsea, you raised your hand. Do you have a question? Yeah, I think the chat is close to us. I think it's the host only have the... Okay, thank you, Chelsea. So maybe I won't get to see everyone in the chat today, but thank you for that. So I do still wanna hear from everyone. So maybe we could come back to that in a little bit, but... Maybe we can get the chat going, but I see Janice posting the chat for us. I posted in the chat. I'm Janice. I'm from Los Angeles, California, originally, and I have boy girl twins who are seven. And maybe, maybe just a couple people raise their hand and introduce themselves, Shannon. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. So would anyone be willing to introduce yourself to the class so we can hear from a few people? Okay, I see one person raised their hand. I can see Itzel. Would you like to introduce yourself? I see numbers in front of your name. Go ahead. <laughs> um, my name is Itzel. I'm from Mexico. And a fun fact about me is that I can't take out my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> what a great fun fact. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Next person I saw is Valentina. Valentina, why don't you go? Uh, hi. I'm Valentina, I'm from Mexico, and I don't know if, if it's a fun fact, but I hate gum. I don't know why. <laughs> That's another really good fun <laughs> fact. Nice. All right, and the next person that I saw, Otto, you were quick. Go ahead, Otto, introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Otto. I'm from Guanajuato, Mexico, and a fun fact of me is that my favorite animal is the elephant. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. I'm glad we got a couple of us to introduce ourselves. We're going to move forward today, but we're going to have lots of opportunities for you to participate. So if you didn't get to introduce yourself, get ready to raise your hand and turn on your audio so we can hear from you when you participate today. But thank you for our three volunteers, Itzel, Valentina, and Otto. Those are some really good fun facts. All right, you guys. So today's lesson goals. So we're going to talk a lot about presentation and pronunciation skills, but we want you all to understand and use effective presentation techniques, uh, and then understand, create, and deliver your own elevator 
speech, speech, excuse me. So we hope that you guys will have the opportunity to learn this today. And so you could take it with you and practice and present this outside of class. And we're gonna talk more about what is an elevator speech today if you don't know. So let's get started. And I want everyone, let's get a few volunteers like we did last time. So we're gonna ask this big question, what makes a good presenter? I know we probably have a lot of opinions on this, but everyone think for a moment. And if I can get another three volunteers to tell us what you think. So answer the question, what makes a good presenter? And then if you'd like to share, you could just raise your hand using the reactions or unmute. Would anyone like well, to share? I can start, Shannon. Oh, um, Jen, for thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks. So I think a good presenter um, smiles. All right, excellent. I would agree, definitely. I think smiling is a big, important part of making sure you're welcoming your audience. How about the rest of us? Anyone have an idea? When you see a good presenter, it makes you go, wow, they're really good. The attitude? The attitude, David, was that you? Hi. All right, go ahead, Steve said the attitude. What do you mean by attitude? Um, the attitude, uh, the communication the, of the presenter with other, the other Person's answer in English is very bad, but and understand. Mm -hmm. um, the communication, the person, one of the presenter of the other persons, the attitude, the smile, um, other things. No, David, I think this is a really great example for us. I like what you said right away, because I think many of us understood as soon as you said attitude, right? You're talking about like energy, right? You can see the person is confident. They have that strong yes. attitude. Excellent. Good example Thank for you. us, David. What? Right. No, I said really great example for us. Oh, thanks. Thank you. All right. Would anyone else like to share one? We have smiling. We have a good attitude. What else makes a really good presenter? Anyone? Can I get one more person? The charisma. Charismatic. Yes. Oh, I heard Itzel say charismatic and someone else spoke. Who is our second speaker? If you want to unmute. All right, I'm not sure who the second person was, but it's uh, why don't you go ahead? I, I saw you and I heard your mic come out. What were you saying? Um, that being charismatic. Like charismatic. Excellent. That's another great example. I really like all of these, right? So David, you said attitude. Itzel, you said charisma, charismatic. Janice said smiling. I think all three of these are really, really great examples for us of when we think about what makes a good presenter. We're watching someone and we go, wow, they're really good. And there's a couple of things that makes us think that, right? And we're going to go into that a little bit more today. But that goes into those two thoughts of what makes a good presenter, what do they think about? And those two things are content and delivery. So what a lot of us talked about today, so I heard Janice, I heard Itzel, David, you guys had smiling, charisma, attitude, that's all delivery, right? It's what we can see, what you're not saying when you're presenting, right? Everything we're looking at body language, eye contact, voice. And then on the other side, we have content. It's everything that you're presenting to us. So the information that you're sharing. So if you're doing a presentation on dance, that's your content. It's everything that you're talking about today. So we're gonna go into a specific type of speech and we need to focus on both our content and our delivery as we present. All right, excellent. I see some of us posting in the chat now, so this is wonderful. Thank you guys. If you would like to post your name and where you're from in the chat as we continue on, that would be great. Thank you for those of us who got the chat going. 
All right, so we got to this a little bit, but the basics of presenting that we also want to think about our good presenter, Janice said it for us, number one, smiles. That goes into what David said with attitude and energy. And you also want to give good eye contact. Right. In an online speech, this might be a little bit different, but we don't want to be looking kind of at our phones. We don't be looking to the side. We want to look at our audience. We want to speak clearly, loudly, make sure everyone can hear us. So I'm not kind of mumbling down like this or like talking too low. I want you guys to hear exactly what I say. And then finally, a big part of that content that I was just talking about is that we're prepared. We know what we're going to say. We're ready to say it. So we're ready to go. So what we're going to do today is learn about how to give an elevator speech. So this, I don't know how many of us have heard of this before, but it's a short presentation that's all about you. So you're going to give a simple introduction of yourself give a description of your background, and then a brief, so a small explanation of your strengths and goals. So we wanna think about kind of like we'd get on an elevator and you have to say your whole speech before you get off the elevator, okay? So if we think about these three parts, they are the important, all the important aspects of what makes a strong elevator speech. So what we're gonna do is listen to an example. I'm gonna stop sharing my PowerPoint and we're gonna watch a YouTube video of a really great elevator speech as an example. Okay, so let me reshare my screen for us. And this is an example from a first year student sharing a strong elevator speech. So can everybody see my screen? Yes. Yes, oh, I saw a couple of people on mute. Thank you guys. So let's take a listen to this strong elevator speech. My name is Abigail Colley. I'm a freshman in the School of Foreign Service, originally from Richmond, Virginia. Um, I plan on majoring in science, technology, and international affairs because in high school I had a really cool internship working with the energy infrastructure company that services much of the Mid-Atlantic, and it's called Dominion Power. And I was really interested in engineering because of that. And international affairs is something that I've been passionate about since high school because I did model UN. So some of the clubs that I'm involved in here include the International Relations Club, the Breaking the Bubble Club, which is really just a fun club, a way to get out of get out of Georgetown, do something fun off campus, and Georgetown Scholarship Program, which is more of an organization than a club. And of course, I also work at the Career Center as a career assistant. All right, excellent. So we had a really good example for us there. A little quick, we might miss some things at the beginning, but she introduced herself, she got into details about what she's studying and then told us a little bit about her goals. So our plan is for you all to have the experience getting ready to create and present your own elevator speech just like that today. So let's go through the steps or the why we create an elevator speech. So we wanna make this so we can make a connection and it will have an impact on your future goals. So a couple of the people you might present to with an elevator speech, maybe a future employer, a professor, or a peer that you would like, so someone you'd like to get closer to uh, and connect with. And like I said, you wanna imagine that you're getting on an elevator and when you get off, you're done presenting your elevator speech. So it should only be between 20 to 45 seconds. So let's, Take a look at all of those steps of what we need to include and you all could get started practicing. So we took a look at the example. So step one, your introduction. So who are you and what is all about? So where are you from? What's your name? Second step, you wanna state your strengths and your goals and we'll get into what that means today. And then finally, you wanna practice and present. So way back at the beginning, we talked about being prepared. So we wanna make sure we practice, practice, practice. So we're ready to share our presentation. So let's all, if you have a piece of paper or you have a Word document opened on your computer, get ready to write a little bit and share some of these examples as a part of your pitch. So first, introduce yourself. So everybody take a moment and write this down. How would you start your elevator speech? You wanna start with your name, 
and your background and experience. So this can be where you're from and what you've studied. So if you are going to a certain high school, if you're taking special classes, usually when you're in college, you'll say your major. So that uh, our example, she said, I am studying uh, in this major. So you wanna give an example of what you've studied. So everybody take a moment and write this down. If you would like to share it in the chat, feel free. But I'm gonna ask for another couple of volunteers if anyone would like to share an example with us. My name is David Ruiz. Um, I study in the University of the Mexican Army and Air Force, uh, the career of the perfect controller. And um, for me, it's a beautiful job. All right, David, excellent. Thank you for volunteering right away. That's what you need in a presenter, confidence. I love that, excellent. Can Thank I get you. someone else to present just like David and share your introduction? I saw a couple of us turn on our cameras. Anyone wanna share? Well, I, do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Valeria. My name is Valeria. I'm from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. I'm a senior in high school and I'm not studying anything yet, but I think I'm going to be a major, to study a major in architecture. All right, excellent. Thank you, Valeria. And you did something that we're gonna talk about today, which is so important, and it's talking about your goals. So even if you haven't studied anything yet at university, you have those goals ready to go. So that was another, really great example for us. So why don't we now that we had two great examples, let's move into what Valeria was talking about with those goals. So stating your strengths and stating your goals. So Valeria, you got us right away started with this, but you wanna introduce yourself like we had our two examples and then move into step two, where you talk a little bit about your strengths and your plans for the future. So what do you hope to study? What do you think you are strong in? Are you strong in particular classes? Do you think you have amazing English skills? Do you think you're the best presenter? Think about those strengths that you might want to share back when we talked about who you might want to talk to. So a professor, an admissions counselor, do you want to introduce yourself to a peer? What strengths might you want to share? And then what are your goals for the future? And like we said, you can adapt this or change this depending on who you're talking to. So everybody take a moment and write down one or two of your strengths and one goal that you have for the future. So just like Valeria got us started, what do you maybe want to study? What do you want to do in the future for a career? What are those goals that you have? And again, if you don't want to turn on your audio and share out loud, you can always type it into the chat to share with us. Okay, so everybody take a minute and think about those strengths and your goals. All right, and then if anybody would like to share and turn on your audio so we can hear you, please feel free to unmute and share with the group. All right, I saw a couple of people turn on our cameras. Maybe a couple of us are thinking about it. If you're not sure about your strengths and you just wanna share a goal with the class, you can do that as well. Would anyone like to, to share with everybody? My plans for the future is, uh, is a study in unary nurse space, um, working, in the United States, why not? All right, excellent, David. Thank you for that example. And David, I think you're one of those, my most favorite kind of students, always participating. So that David and Valeria both gave us really great examples. Share what maybe you want to study or you want to do in the future. So thank you for that, you guys. Excellent example for us again, David. All right, and finally, our last step in creating this elevator speech is to practice and present. 
So if everyone has that written down and you wanna share it in the chat, you can, but keep in mind, you might wanna share this with family, friends, always be prepared to practice, get ready to go so you can share it with whoever you're interested in sharing it with. So we went back to saying a professor, a peer or admissions, okay? So would anyone like to share an example of your elevator pitch? I know we went through a lot. Introduction, a goal. Do we have anyone who wants to share it with the class? Otto, I'm gonna call on you because I saw you on mute. Can you do it for <laughs> us? Yeah. All right, yeah, well, go for it. Um, only the second part. Mm -hmm. uh, well, um, I consider that I have good academic skills and I first I want to finish the high school and after I want to study medicine. All right, excellent Otto. So Otto just gave us a really great example of those strengths. So if anyone was confused about that part, Otto just gave us a really great example. He says, I'm doing real, really well academically and here's what I want to do in the future. So another really great example for us about how we can list and share our strengths and then move into sharing our goals for the future. So thank you, Otto. Another really excellent example. All right. I think Valentina, I think Valentina's ready. Valentina, you look, you look ready to go. Maybe I'm wrong, but I see a smile. <laughs> what do you think, Valentina? Did you want to share one too? Yeah, why not? All right, uh, excellent. Go for it. My name is Valentina. I'm from Toluca, Mexico. I'm in sophomore, sophomore year, I'm really, really patient and honest, and I would love to be a, an, in a, an engineer in chemistry. So. All right, excellent, Valentino. What a wonderful example for us. And I love how you just jumped into it. So you got into all of our steps there, you shared your goals, and that's a really exciting goal to share with everyone. Wonderful. All right, we're almost coming to a close here. Would anyone else like to jump in and have the confidence, the energy back to David's attitude and want to share their elevator speech with the class? All right, it's Elle, I saw you raise your hand. You got it, you go for it. Um, my name is Itzel Arias. I'm from Toluca, Mexico. Right now I'm studying high school, but I would like to have a major in personal design and study in USA. And I consider myself a very creative person and a person making good friends. Like I'm very social. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank you so much. That was an, don't be nervous. You did such a good job. That was a great example for us. You introduced yourself, you got into what you're studying and what you want to study, and then you talked about your strengths. So the order was a little changed there, but you got to everything. And that's what's important about an elevator speech is that you introduce yourself and all of these important parts of you. All right, excellent. So thank you guys for all of you who shared your elevator pitches. Uh, if you wanna practice them at home, remember you don't have to share them with us. You can always share them with friends and family and have them ready to go if you ever need it in the future. And I just have one tip as well. Practice in front of the mirror, right? Just look at, watch yourself in the mirror, smile, stand with confidence and practice there. You can see kind of some of the things that you do that might be a little bit awkward. So often when I have my hair down, I touch my hair a lot when I pre I'm presenting. I noticed that when I was in front of the mirror. So you can catch some of those um, things that you might want to change for future presentations. All right, thank you, Janice. An excellent job, everyone. I hope that you're leaving today with a little bit more knowledge about an elevator speech, how to use these different presentation techniques and deliver that elevator speech with confidence. And I saw so many of you already jumped right in. So well done to all of us. And thank you all for joining us today. I loved hearing from all of you and hope potentially one day that I'll get to see you guys in our presentations and pronunciation course online uh, with the Temple Center for American Language and Culture. So thank you all so much for joining us today. It was wonderful to be able to meet some of you and see you online. 
I did want to mention before we end today, if you're interested in our classes or interested in learning more, you can always follow us on social media. We have lots of exciting events coming up, like a trivia quiz masters contest where you can answer trivia questions and potentially win a free class at TCALC. So if you think you're really good at trivia, and so many of you guys jumped right in and were ready to answer, so I can imagine you'd be so good at trivia, you can maybe join us uh, at that event. And you can also follow us because we have Vocab Mondays and other uh, exciting news updates on our social media. All right, and I think we are at time, Janice. I'm not sure. I wanted to make sure before I move forward. Yep, I think we're I think we're at time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. It was wonderful. Oh, we have Mabel. We still have a few minutes. Oh, yes. fantastic. Yes, oh, because here. the other breakout room is um hasn't finished yet. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So does anybody have questions or does anybody else want to share? I was going to ask that. So yeah. since we have time, I want to make sure we give everybody an opportunity who might want to share with us. So since we have time from the other breakout room, we heard from David, we heard from Valeria, I heard from Itzel, Valentina, Otto. How about some of the rest of us that maybe were quiet today? Is anyone interested in sharing their elevator speech? And to remind us, just in case, we want to introduce ourselves, state strengths and goals, and then end, and uh, what are your plans for the future? And that's our in our goal section. Would anyone else like to share? Can I? Oh, I'm not seeing who's speaking, but yes. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, my name is Grecia Divier, and I'm from Guanajuato, Purisima del Rincón, Guanajuato. So actually, I'm still in high school, and my goal for the future is to study a career in medicine. All right. Excellent. Wow. What another excellent elevator speech for us. So you got into your introduction. You told us your background. You got into your strengths and goals. And I loved hearing your plan about what you hope to do for the future with medicine. Wonderful. Wow. You guys are really doing an excellent job today. I'm hearing wonderful, perfect examples. Excellent. All right. Well, I see I'm getting a post and we have one minute left, so I don't want to lose you all and not say goodbye. So thank you guys for joining us. I know we'll be talking a little bit more about our program in the main session, but it was so wonderful hearing from all of you. And thank you to those who just joined and listened. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thank everybody. Nice to meet thank you. you. We'll, see you. So we'll see you in the next session, right? Stay tuned to learn more about Connects here Thanks. with us, okay? See you in a moment. Bye, guys. Good.